Hey guys, you just here. Welcome back to another Gears of War 4 video. Recently, the Coalition hosted a live stream and Q&A answering a variety of questions as well as releasing a few new clips. So I wanted to just summarize on everything that is worth knowing, like Swarm Team's execution, whether Locust will be in multiplayer and more. So starting off with the Coalition Q&A, we learned about Gears 4 that there will be no theatre mode included in the game. Of course, the Xbox One having its DVR feature where everybody can record a certain amount of footage, a theatre mode isn't really needed to an extent. Locust will not be in multiplayer when the game releases. Now, they didn't mention Locust will never be part of multiplayer, but for me personally, I don't think the Locust will make an appearance in Gears of War 4 multiplayer ever because this is the opportunity for the Carnage and Studio to take the series forward and leave the Locust behind in the Legacy games because their storyline is finished at the end of Gears 3. Fan favourite game modes like Wingman and Free For All won't be included as part of the launch game, but the Coalition is aware of what game modes the community has enjoyed from previous Gears games, and there is always the possibility of them being added in the future as a permanent game mode or just as a special event. Next up, a few short clips were released recently talking about animations within the game, with most importantly the Swarm Team execution being revealed. Now if you remember from the beta, Back in April, both factions had the Gears 3 COG team execution of punching the enemy player's skull into nothing, while the updated Swarm team execution involves picking up the player and just repeatedly dropping them and smashing them into the ground before again turning their skull into nothing. Now what I'm interested in though is whether the outsider faction of characters as well as the DB faction of characters will share these two executions or have their very own. Lastly, a new roll to down animation has been introduced in the game for the first time, which occurs when a player takes enough damage to go down while rolling. Now, I personally think it's a great idea, however, from what we can see right now, it isn't fully there yet, as it seems like the end of the roll is repeated a second time as the animation begins, but I feel like it is an improvement from what used to happen previously where a player would finish the normal rolling animation, then immediately after standing up straight, normally would go down straight away. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below though, do you think the Locust should be included in multiplayer and your reason why? Give this video a thumbs up and share it if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already, thanks for watching, and as always, I shall see you on the next one.